right there, that young man right there. I mean, hey, you want to be a fighter? Wow. But I think I like the way this matches up stylistically. Carlos has got a good, strong right hand, right kick. I don't want to say he's predominantly all right side of his body, but he likes okay. to use the strikes from the right side of his body. Now, Tuan Chai is, usually fights as a southpaw, likes to keep his distance from the outside, likes to keep room to throw that left kick. You know, he kind of uses that left leg from the distance, and I think that could be used for his, to his advantage tonight, keeping his opponent on the outside, because that left kick can neutralize that right hand. You start throwing that okay. right hand and leaving your ribs exposed, if you've got a, a good kicker with that left leg, he can keep his distance, kick underneath, and, and neutralize that right hand and make you not want to throw it. Or he can kick the arm all day and, and stop you from throwing it, kind of slow it down and beat it up a little bit. So I'm interested to see how this plays out. I'd like to see how what, what Carlos' game plan is in the round one. If he's going to go out hard, if he's going to feel him out, or if he's going to jump on him quick, he might be able to ke catch Tuan Chai, Tuan Chai early. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> Styles do I make me. <laughs> go ahead. I need a drink of water. That's <laughs> <laughs> Styles do make matchups, and this will be a stylistic matchup, absolutely. The Young Buck trying to represent Thailand, Bangkok, Thailand, to be more specific, where he hails from. And he has a lot on his young shoulders with a beast from Spain, Carlos Seven Muay Thai. Here we go, five, three-minute rounds, live from Lumpini Stadium again. Teddy Move, that's Coach Trout. Here we go, AMT 52. I'm telling you, man. Good fights we've yeah, had recently, but this, I, I feel it on this card, man. I yeah, feel when I, it. When I saw the bout shoot, I got real excited. I think I even texted everybody in the group. I was like, ooh, I'm excited to watch this fight tonight. There's that right hand you talked about. Good slip, though, coming from yeah. Tuan Chai. Big right hand. Just throws it straight out, sets it up, kind of pauses the jab a little bit, finds the distance. You can see he's looking to throw, and he's looking to throw with bad intentions. Look at that heavy right kick to the inside. Heavy check, though, from the youngster, and another check now from the Spaniard. But you can see it's all business on Carlos's face. He's out here, he's out here to fight, he's out here to win. And I like this where he's starting out early throwing big shots. He's going to get the tie fighter to throw big shots as well. It's going to make it an exciting fight. Of course, I would not I would not expect Carlos to come out and just have a 10-10 round. Huge heavy kick, and there's that right hand down the pike. I like to see Tuan Chai move a little bit more to his right, stay away from that right yeah. side of the body. Yes, sir. Of his opponent, use that left leg underneath, or even start kicking the inside leg now. You know, kind of, kind of put some doubt in Carlos's head, kind of make him second guess throwing that right hand. Because if he starts to get comfortable with the first round, it could be a long night, or it could be a short night for Tuan Chai. Tuan Chai has that two pound weight advantage, but Carlos looking much bigger fighter, and of course more aggressive as we see here in round one. This is a in-between feather and super featherweight, but we'll say super featherweight now that uh, Tuan Chai is actually at 130. More of a super featherweight here. Definitely super featherweights after Tuan the win. Right. Yeah, that's true. Tuan Chai waiting, no dice inside leg kick. Carlos gets aggressive over the top, but good defense from the Bangkokian. Oi, good check again. Carlos has got tons of experience. Two-time bronze medalist at the IFMA tournament. Man, really? WKU Spain champion, 59 kilograms. WMC Spanish champion, 59 kilograms. Carlos is no joke. That's why he's opening this uh, absolute Muay Thai show. And when he won Oy. the IFMAs back in 2013 and 14, so he's been around. He's, he's been busy. He's got fights under his belt. He's and got if, experience. For the fans, IFMA stands for what? International Federation of Muay, Muay Thai Association. Association. Okay. Yep. It's a big tournament this year. It's held in, in yep. Thailand. I got to go witness it. Nice kick to the body from the youngster. And, and that's where Get Tuan, that left going, well, that's where Tuan Chai is going to do his best when he's got that distance, when he's got a little bit of room between him and his opponent to throw that right leg. But if you crowd him and make him uncomfortable, kind of keep him on his back foot, kind of disrupt that rhythm. Just testing each other now. 24 seconds left in round one. What a good there round There it one. is. There's, there's, that, there's that, that left leg that's going to stop yes. that right hand. If Carlos lets him get a little more comfortable in there, he's going to start timing it. He's going to watch. Every time that elbow picks up when he throws that right hand, he's going to he's gonna throw that left kick underneath and catch him in the ring. That left hand down the mass pike from Tawan Chai landed flush. He kind of faked it first, faked and fainted it, and then came right through. Oh, what a good round one, Coach. Good first what round. a great round, round one. Great there we go. <laughs> Lumpini on fire. I'm going to explain a little bit what goes on in the first round of a Muay Thai fight. So the fighters come out, they get a good look at each other, they start tossing kicks back and forth, kind of get a read on each other. See if they block, see how they react to the kicks, see how they react to the punches, and more or less just reading their opponent because it's the first time they see them. 
And that's why they're taking their time. They're not going for big, powerful shots because they don't want to give everything away too early. I told you, man, next video, I don't want any shorts on, okay? No pants, I told you that last time. I'm pretty upset. Look how calm and collective it is in the Spaniards' corner right now. All instruction, eye contact, and instruction now in the blue corner coming from the seconds in. Yeah, there he is. Solid, solid corner. Both look good. Are you going to go 10-10 on that, or are you going to give it to Carlos? So handsome. You gonna go 10 10 on that or give it to Carlos? What are you doing? I, you know, I I was thinking that you were gonna ask that question. And I have the answer do. for you. Yeah, I, I would give it to Carlos, but I like the I way that Tawan Chai came back and kind of dictated the pace at the end no. of the round. For like the last minute, I feel like Tawan Chai found his rhythm and he was in control. We would give it to Carlos, of course. But do you think it's enough for the ref? Or, so, I'm sorry, for the judges? I think they may have 10 10 that one. I, mean, I, think, he, I think he rattled Tawan Chai in the beginning and, and, and kind mm. of disrupted his rhythm and, and he was in control. But then I think that swayed as, as the True. round went on. And near the end of the round, I think Tuan Chai found his rhythm. Right about here, here's that range. Round. Here's the range that Tuan Chai has to be the most successful in. Round two. Absolute Muay Thai 52. Carlos from Spain in the red chunks. Tuan Chai out of Bangkok in the blue. I like what he did Oi. there. I like what Carlos said there. He ate the kick, and then he shot the right hand right down the pipe. He didn't hesitate at all. He's got to do a little bit more of that. No, that's a little, right bit, here. a little bit more of that right there. I think he buckled the knees a little bit of Tuan Chai. I think that affected him. He caught him right in the bridge of the nose, kind of high on the forehead, but I think it did enough to kind of rattle him. I know it's early, but let's just talk about how professional the 18-year is right now. The 18-year-old is right now. I mean, this a is professional. His, this is his sport. He grew up doing this. He grew up Still. watching people doing this. He's been around this. He's, he's Carlos just Stephane. being in the Please. just being in the environment right here, knowing how to shut down that elbow. Look who's got his yeah. arms over the top of Carlos on the outside. Takes away those elbows. That's a smart move because Carlos is dangerous with both elbows, especially that right elbow. I've seen him put guys to sleep. Oh, good, good fade comes across to the body. Good balance by Tuan Chai. Uy, inside leg kick, where's that? Doesn't Check budge, though. Boy. Doesn't budge. That's all right. He I like the way he that. just stood sturdy. It's reddening a little bit, though, on that lead leg of Tuan Chai. A little bit. I don't think and it's going to be enough to affect him. Under though. the right arm, though. Under the right arm is reddening for Carlos as well. I can see it right here in front of the boot. You like how he chopped him right at the elbow, right at the right, really yeah. right above the hip, right where that elbow, even if you block it, it shoves it into that liver. That inside leg kick buckled Carlos when he lifted that right leg up. Yeah, he's going to be concerned he, he about was, that a little yep. bit later on, but I, he's got a game plan. Hey. And you can see the look on his face. He's locked in. He's, he's lasered out on that ribs. He's, he knows what he's doing in there. Oh, 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 what a fight. What a fight. A minute 23 that, in round two. He that, caught it. What's he going to do? That's where Carlos is going to be successful with that big right hand. He's got to answer back with it. He's got to do it. So there's no time in between the strikes. The minute he gets touched with the kick, he's got to fire that cross on the pipe. And it wouldn't hurt to follow up with the hook, another cross. Oh, no, there's elbow. an elbow down the pipe. The elbow that you talked about, how vicious they are. They're how vicious, vicious they can be. Good slap knee to the outside, answered by Carlos. Strong clinch by Carlos. So disgusting. I like how he's bringing him up. Oh. I like how tall Carlos is bringing him up high. See, so he's doing yeah. a stand of tall on the tiptoes and, and, and keeping his opponent off balance and making him reach. The taller fighter is becoming taller in the clinch, opening up the ribs, and he's going to sneak those knees in up underneath. Head kick just right off here. the nose. This is where Carlos has got to get going to keep Tuan Chai off balance. He can't let him sit back in that rhythm and slow the fight down to his pace. Where's that left kick from, from uh, Tuan Chai? Where's that? Just fire it, my but That's man. the thing. He's got to get in range. He's got to settle down there before he throws it. He doesn't just throw it. He, got, he finds his range. Takes his time, he sharp shoots, locks him in. Look, look how he's slowing the fight down. Yeah, he punches the body. Tuan Chai walks him down, slows the fight down to his pace. Watch this. He's, he's fighting at his pace now. He knows the speed. And, 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 and he's standing right in front of him, which is yep. just dangerous. But I think he's doing it. He's kind of baiting him to throw that right hand so he can throw that kick underneath. But man, this might play him Russian roulette. You stand right in front of him with that guy with the big right hand, you can wake up on the mat. Five seconds left, elbow over the top, just off the head. Not too much power. Bad scramble, and there's the bell. Round two in the books. What an opening bout. Did I not say it? But well, we're not talking about this. How dope this card's going to be. I like be. the way it's playing out. Like I said, like the way that it, it, it's kind of go. It's got its, its ebb and flows. It's going up. It's going down. Carlos is taking control. He throws. He gets excited. He's aggressive. And then Tuan Chai just eases his way back in, <laughs> walks back to the center of the ring, gets in the range he wants to get into. And a lot of times he doesn't have to fire. Just being in front of his opponent, putting that pressure on that. And, it doesn't, and, and by saying pressure, it doesn't mean you're all over him and rushing at him. Sometimes just being right in front of your opponent and staying right in that danger zone and being calm and comfortable puts the pressure on you. Yes, and sir. makes you second guess, like, why is he still right here? Why is he in front of me? I don't want to throw my right hand because I'm going to get kicked. 
Then you start doubting yourself. The minute you start doubting yourself, things start sliding downhill. Take a look right there at the coach in the red corner, right there by the, oh, they just, they just cut it. Why, you're, you know way more than I do about this particular, why would Carlos's coach be eyeing the blue corner like that? Just now, he's look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Eye I the think blue it's corner. always a great idea. I, I love doing that. Like in between rounds, I'll be talking to my fighter. I kind of peek over what my can, shoulder. What can he see? I, I want to see what's going for? on. I want to see if there's panic over there. I want to uh, see if they're, okay. if, if they're, you know, sometimes body language will show a certain strategy. Maybe they're rubbing on the leg that's hurt. Yeah. They're rubbing on the arm right. that's hurt. Or maybe they're telling, they're, they're so frantic okay. over there, or they're kind of telling them, you should be doing this, and you can read a lot. And just watching body language, watching the chaos in the corner. If it's okay. calm, all right, I know I got to be calm too, or I got to turn it up. But you can learn a lot. From peeking over in that other yeah, corner. Yeah, he was That's just a smart, a smart, man. Yeah, smart coach. And then a couple quick little things of instruction, boom, he's done. But that's another thing, too, from coaching from the outside I've learned over the years, is where to watch. I remember the beginning of my, my, my coaching career, I would watch my fighter the whole time. But that didn't make sense. I can give him pointers, but he should know what to do. I should have done my job in the gym as training him as in what to do in the ring. I like watching the other guy to see how he's reacting to what my guy's doing. And then I go back and forth, but I like to watch the opponent as I'm the corner man or the coach in the corner. This, you learn a lot that way. This is the money round opening bout. This is it now, and you see the aggressiveness coming from the Bangkok boy, 18 years old in the blue, Toan Chai. Carlos from Spain in the ring with an elbow on the inside. They are picking it up now, my man, Jason. They are picking it up. Oh, drives that knee in, elbow over the top. Oh, and he goes again. Big kick to the body. Team kick now. The composure, I know I've said it too many times, but the composure of the 18-year-old handling a monster like Carlos is just very impressive. Here we go. And you can see his confidence is starting to rise as the fight gets going. I just saw Tawan Chai's mom in the corner, and now my heart. Oh, God, I wish I didn't see that. I'm a softie. Oh, an elbow on the inside from Tawan Chai. Eats a knee. Nice push off. I like what Carlos just did right there. <laughs> Ate the knee, pushed off to make distance, and he was looking to throw, but he didn't let anything go. Good left kick to the body again, and a knee. He is damaging the right side of Carlos. He's got to watch out the inside for that, for those elbows from Tawan Chai. And Good, the elbows smart Carlos position now for Carlos. Got his head nice and tight to his opponent. What a war. What a war. Oh, good teeth to stop that left hand from coming on the pike. That was smart. He threw the push kick and stepped back just enough to get out of range. And he is circling away from that big right hand like you talked about in round one. And, the, and his corner was telling him that before this yep. money round. Make it small adjustments yes, sir. now. Good slap knees. Look at how he gets those arms high, doesn't he? Look at him. Yeah, he's got those, got those oh. arms under his opponent's armpits Three. and kind of lifts it up. Punch to the body. Out of position. Big right elbow. Oh, 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 oh. Eats an elbow. Eats it. The 18-year-old giving it his all. Blue corner screaming at him. Blue Pini on fire. Yes, are you not entertained? Spinning elbow. Up. That was nice. I saw Tuan Chai moving to his yes, right. Trying to set him up for that kick. Oh, and a big elbow. Carlos saw it, stepped outside and threw a spinning elbow. Are you kidding me? A war of attrition here in round three. 50 seconds left. Muay Thai is its finest. Oh, man. Big right hand to the body. I love him working the body. Look at that straight elbow down the middle. Good teep as well. Oh, elbow across the face. Pulled him into it, came wow. right over the top. He's blocking now the body shots. He's dropping his right arm, Carlos. Good knee to the body. Now look at that defense. But Carlos gets that elbow over the top. It drives it through the belly. I like the way Carlos. And another one. Oh, oh wow. Oh, my God. He leaned into it. He leaned into it with the left hand or right hand. I got to check. And that knee, disgusting. Wow. Round three, KO. Wow. Carlos Seven, Muay Thai improves the 53 wins overall. Rep in Spain. Spain is proud right now. Hey, he hurt his leg. What? What's In that? Lumpini. No, it was, it was his. Uh, it was his uh, stomach. He oh. threw a punch and actually Exposed jumped himself. jumped in to the knee. Perfectly timed by that man right there. Elation from the red corner. Opening up the card here at, at Lumpini. All the hard work, all the dedication, and this is the payoff. Watch him throw that. Is it a right or a left? Yeah, it's a right. See? Oh, that's nice. Oh, 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 oh. he throws wow. the right hand. Look at it. 
Watch this. Shove it. That went all the way in. Good elbow as well. And watch this. Times it. Perfect. Leans back as well so the right hand doesn't land. It was a lot for the 18-year-old. I said it early. I mean, it for a big, this works like both ways. Carlos. You got the southpaw, you start reaching and exposing yourself, and you got the power side of the right hand coming into you. Man, Great I am, job. Yep, wow, yep, impressed. Yep. Well, Carlos is getting a follow on uh, on Instagram from me right there. He earned a follow, and I hope anyone listening uh, also gives him a follow on his social media. It helps out fighters. It helps out the sport as well. And, damn, he earned it. Oh, my God. Well, we calm down. While the fighters get into the ring, we're going to take you now to a video on Lumpini Stadium just to give you some history of this iconic stadium. Check it out. Lumpini Stadium in its present configuration was built in 2014. That's when it was moved from Lumpini Park. It was built in Lumpini Park in 1956. So what we're looking at is a fairly new stadium that's been built for the only purpose of fighting. Lumpini Stadium has always been run by the Thai Royal Army. And so since its inception in 1956, they've always handled the management and activities that go on in the stadium. Behind me, you'll see the Golden House, and that's the specific position for the bands to be playing. It's a raised up position because it's a place of honor. As long as there's been Muay Thai, there's been the band to accompany it. You'll see the area for the gamblers is all set, right down to the locker rooms built specifically just for fighters. You're never gonna see any type of concerts or other sporting events happen at Lumpini Stadium. What a great, great stadium. Moved just outside, excuse me, on the outskirts of Bangkok. It was torn down in the city. It was old, it was, but they still kept the heritage. Now, tale of the tape, Set Not Noi versus Sing Payak. 40, 15, 5 for the red corner, 50, 13, and 2 for the blue. Now, much, much older, 39 to 28, height and weight virtually identical. So let's take a look at the weigh-ins. We actually have a one pound weight advantage for the blue corner, my man. Blue corner with a slight one pound, but both came in under 130. Still, we're going to count it as I a super feather. I give him three pounds. Of <laughs> Excuse me. I give him three pounds to try to even this fight up. We've seen Singh Payak before, haven't we? I think we have before. I think we have seen him before. We have. My God. What a great, great opening fight. There he is again. 40, 15, and 5. 60, first fight. 28 years of age. Getting up there. For a Muay Thai career, when you put the gloves on and really start sparring heavy at around 9 to 10 years old, <clears throat> excuse me, by 28. But then, with that being said, I mean, in his golden age here, Singh Payak, 39 years old, still doing the thing, isn't he? 39 years old, looks every bit of 29, doesn't he? Yeah, he's been around. He's definitely a seasoned vet. I mean, 50, 13, and 12, probably in this weight class. He must have gotten into a few other scraps yeah, every once in a while, maybe right? Maybe that's sure, just sure. this month. <laughs> maybe. Or, of course, they do take time off. They enter the military, things of that nature. They get some jobs. They get some I'm, I'm good still, work opportunity. I'm still under the impression, or I still have this. Uh, that it's not the real record? No, I found one for a... Uh, Go ahead and say it. You've been holding it, it in. Say it. Set Nanoi. Go. See, set Nanoi. Go. Set Nanoi. He was 51 9 with 12 draws back in 2018. <laughs> so I don't know what happened, Dave. Maybe he lost a listen, couple on the listen, way. Listen, listen. I love it. I love Thailand. <laughs> listen, I love it. Listen, sir. What's your record? Eh, what, listen, today? We have a saying here called This is Thailand. Okay, T I T. This is Thailand. Let it go, dude. They Let are it go, not dude. matching you up. According to your records. They are matching you up according to your last couple <laughs> fights. I love it. You know what? That's gonna how be, they do it, though. When, that's when, how you do it. You know, it's not like, oh, you have how many fights in your career? No, they go, how did you do your last How was your last couple uh, yeah, performances? Yeah, how do you feel? How do you how feel today? Your last, you could have 500 fights, but if you lost your last four, mm. your stock went down. I'll stick you against my guy. You know, that that's a great way to, to build my guy back up or, or test right. my guy. Maybe my guy beats you. And I think that's what's going on here. They're bringing this kid. Kid. Really? Eh, sorry. <laughs> 28 years old. It's a kid to me, Freddy. Round 
one. Five three-minute rounds coming your way from the iconic, world-famous Loom PD Stadium. Again, I'm Teddy Mulvey alongside Jason Coach Trout. Super featherweight. See, Nanoi in the red corner. 2-0 and coming into this matchup. Sing Payak 2-0 and as well coming into this matchup. Co-main event. And they're getting at it right away. No feeling each other out. Oh, come on, dude. Wow, he is right up in his grill piece, my man. The 39-year-old got like no time Sing, to waste. Singh Payak walked oh, yeah. him back to the ropes. As, in the beginning, Singh Nanoi was out in the center, all confident. Then all of a sudden, Singh Payak said, all right, let's put you back in your place. Let's put you back in the corner. I've been here before. I fought here a couple hundred, maybe two, three hundred fights. Or maybe, uh, Apparently uh, only maybe 53, 65 fights, 62 sir. fights this afternoon. Dude, why does Sina Noi look so much older? <laughs> <laughs> Did he get the ages wrong? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. I just, he looks so much older. Well, he started his career we over when he was there 25. We there he, we go. Since he's been 25, he's gone 40, 15, and 5. Oh, man. Nice push kick there. Oh, he goes up top. Just off the arms. Yo, Singh Hayak is not happy. Something happened on social media or something. What? Well, I mean, he is just... Foot on the gas. He yeah, throw around one here. He's got a weird rhythm to him. You see that, Teddy? Uh, he does. I don't want to say like he looks like he's off balance. That right ankle looks a little. Oh, he does a straight elbow. In round one. Cock a little bit. Watch him. Watch yeah, him with the right. Not happy about oh, that. look at him just smother him now. Puts the glove right up in his grill piece. Senanoi not happy about that. Senanoi inked up. Gotta love that, right? He's a, he's a stocky little tank. He really is. He really is. I, I, I Good him. sweep. Good sweep. I love watching him fight, but this is what you do against the guys that have just knocked out both guys his last two fights. He's walking through guys. You got to get in his face. You got to take away that confidence early. So she being a seasoned vet, and the reason I'm calling him seasoned vet is because he's close to 40 years old. Oh, he's a seasoned vet. He's been around. Even if he took time off, whatever, maybe he's definitely been around. He knows the sport. And from the scars and bruises and dents on his yeah. leg, he's definitely I mean, been around. And he definitely could have been doing some Letway in Burma or been doing some Cambodian Heavy fighting. Hook. Like Heavy he's, hook. Yeah, he's disgusting. Oh, and a big right hand. Oh, rocks. Senanoi back. Senanoi working off the ropes. Looks a Look little apprehensive, smile. Look at the smile on, on Singh Payak's face. Oh, yeah. He is just a, a borderline disrespectful, to tell you the truth, the way he's walking in here with this. He's got some cauliflower ear. He's definitely been around. Swag this guy's right been, now. Oh, that's, oh, that's a heavy a nice hook. Left. Yes, sir. Goes to the body. Oh, and the back. back nice big right hand. Long left hand. Big right. Right hand, left? right hand. No, it's okay. I got confused. Oh, he almost switched stances there, too. Push kick now. 13 seconds left in round one, and a dominant round one from the blue corner. My he God. Is, these guys are not wasting any time getting to know each other. He's catching that kick oh, all day, big right I like hand how he spin. grabbed it. And he pulled him back to oh, keep oh, him oh, off oh, balance. Oh, oh. Pulled him back to knock him off balance and then shoved that, that cross down the pipe. What a first round, Teddy. What, what a, a first round what a for first, first Singh fight, Payak. First, first round. Oh, no, I'm sorry for Singh. Singh Anoy. Singh Payak was yes, murdered. He's, he's definitely saying this is, my, this is my night. I didn't come here to get beat up tonight. I mean, there has to be some sort of adjustments I'm for I'm impressed how the 39-year-old's warmed up already. Oh. And wanting to end it early. Yeah, Jamal, Maybe that's uh, what happens when you get up in age like that. You're like, listen, man, I'm not trying to be here all night long. You know what I mean? Let's just I, that's it. it. Yeah, I'm let's, trying to get you out yeah. real early. I'm trying to get back home. I got kids. I, I know. Got I, I've got a couple things I can still do. I'm going to give it all you got. <laughs> I am so tired. Come <laughs> round three, you may hit me and I might just fall over. <laughs> Absolutely. Nah, man, that guy's built like a brick house, man. But still, big smiles coming from the blue corner as well. Hopefully that's not, you know, a telltale that he's taking them easy, but uh, very, very happy. A little bit more concern coming from the red corner. Man, just real aggressive, real strong, precise as well from the blue corner. 39 years old. I mean, when I saw some fighters from Eminent Air at like... 32, 33 on Channel 7. I was like, man, this guy's out. I mean, I don't know if this guy's got much in him. This dude, 39, repping co-main event. That's amazing right now. Still got it, too. Wow, the big welt above the left eye, reddening there above the left eye of Senanoi. And here we go, round two, super featherweight affair. Senanoi in the red. Sing Bayak in the blue, absolute Muay Thai, 52. Lumpini, of course, nice love that. Yep. Nice heavy jab, knocks him off balance, kind of faked the kick. He is so at home in the ring right now. 
Oy. He kind of leaving his head a little too high, though. He's got to watch out for that one. Yeah, there. there's not much defense, but not much offense coming from Senan Oy, so he's all good. Oh, heavy knees, just walking him down. Like, really, really bullying him now, too. Of course, the betters on their feet, arms folded. Wow. Watch the right elbow coming from Senpai. Look at those knees. Oh, that was oh, a little bit low, a little bit low. A wee bit, a wee bit yeah, south yeah, of the yeah, border. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect, respect. Hold rock, on, hold on. Give him a second to drop, the him, bells. to drop him back down. All right, here we go. Here we go. Right, oh, right into the nuts. Yeah, I don't know if he wants to be in the clinch right now. Second round clinch. Send on Noy. I don't know if he wants to be here. Oh, driving it in. He's just, he's just walking him down. Framing him up. Oh. And just making distance and just shoving those knees home. Good hit placement as well. Coming from Singh Playoff. Ah, oh, Singh is just murder. Slapping the outside, not much. There it is, driving. Look at oh. those knees. Oh. I would close that distance if I was seeing seen the noise. I'd bring those oh. hips in nice and tight. I wouldn't oh. give him any distance. Oh, God. He can't take much more of this. Slap knees to the outside. Oh. That is not a slap knee, Teddy. That's a, that's no, no, a no, 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 no. I was saying, uh, seeing that noise, slap knee to the outside. Oh, God. Look at that. He's finally answering. He's but definitely, done his, definitely oh. done his abs. Oh, wow. But he's so concerned with the elbows up top because see, Hayak, that, see, right there. He can just take you right out. Oh, good, good clinch now. Heavy clinch. Senanoi. Is it going to be broken? Can't look, be broken. Look at, look at, look at. Sink, doesn't yeah. care. He's like, all right. Man, they just beat each other's midsections up right now. 55 seconds left. It's just round two. Boom, Petey, man. Thank you. Thank you. Been waiting for this card, I swear. So on the fifth. Wow. Just sneaks that hook Big across. left. Do it again. He kind of taps the jab, puts you oh, asleep. Oh, what a big oh, elbow. Oh, look at that trip. Misses the elbow. That comes with the you. trip. Come on. Oh, good D. Answers back. Tries to push him it's off. So tries vicious. to make distance. It's so vicious right now. Look at that elbow. I don't know how this fight can go five rounds, Teddy. Boy, got him in the knee. Got him. And it's wow. You just Yo, they are just it's almost coming out of his back. Oh, yes. He needs to keep doing more of those and gaining the respect. Sing Payak. Ooh, ooh, good D, good D, good D. Man, let both just... hands go. Let both look at, hands look go. At him, look at his hands look. Look at him. Borderline disrespectful, Sing. Wow. Just beating him up. That was it's like the older, disgusting. It's like, it's like if you're the older brother, you're just beating your younger yeah. brother up. Yeah, I have an older brother. I know exactly get, how that feels. Home, I, I was school today. You hit him Man. in the leg, hit him in the arm. Oh, my God. I'm going to take a break now from the fight. We're going to show you a video on clinch, which is perfect, because these guys are about to clinch war again in the money round. Check it out. Clinching is a big part of Muay Thai, and I'm going to show you just a couple different things we're looking at when we're watching the clinch. So you'll see the two fighters tie up. They'll bring their heads close to each other so they're not too far away where they're gonna get hit with elbows or knees up the middle. And they'll work their body with the knees to the outside, constantly moving their hands for a dominant position. We can also work elbows from the clinch. And we can also go back to the knees and you can work on dumping your opponent, taking them off balance, and showing control in the clinch. The key thing the judges are looking at when you're clinching is a good, strong stance. You want to have a good posture, good, strong neck. You don't want to be all over the place. The fighter that's all over the place is the fighter that's losing the clinch. Oh man, before this round starts off, I just want to tell the fans listening right now, go to Instagram, go to Coach Strout, click unfollow, then go to Teddy Mulvey, click follow. Much appreciated by that. So just follow those steps and uh, we'll be all good. The money round coming up, Coach Strout. Hey, I like to look at Teddy's Here. Instagram. He put me to sleep at night. <laughs> oh, I deserve that. Here we go. Senanoi in the red corner. Sing Hayak in the blue. Super featherweight co-main event. What a killer main event coming up next. Stay tuned, fans, worldwide fight fans. Are you not entertained? I'm telling you. Oi. Wow, he's getting some respect back now, isn't he? Singh Payak has not let Singh Inouye in this fight yet. He's gaining. He just he's has to spike him. He just has. Did he try to spike him? He hasn't let him get going. He hasn't let him get his rhythm. He's been in his face since the, since the 
first round, that first bell. But Cedenoy came out, tried to take the center of the ring. Oh, play God, on that, and none of that. That jab is just gross. Look at this. I love how he opens up. Oh. Look at that. Makes that distance. Come on. Just shoves oh, those come knees on, in there. Fight back, man. He did. It, it's him. almost like a Saint Tenoy style. Yeah. Saint Tenoy, the deadly kiss, used yeah. to kind of frame you, and he wouldn't lock you up to keep that distance. Then he drive those knees home. He's moving forward. Look at that triple, doubles up on the jab. Saint Tenoy is trying his best, but he is eating these shots. The 39-year-old from Kalasin, Singh Payak, is just murder wow. right now. You can't count. You can't count Saint Tenoy out, though. He's still dangerous. Yes, sir. But he's, he's eating a lot. Better. He's taking a lot. Yes, sir. Oh, God. He measured that up from a distance. I Watch love him here. locking those Watch arms oh. out. This is beautiful. He's got He's those arms locked out. He's got that distance. He's got those hooks in over the shoulders. And he's just making room. Strong stance, and he's just shoving those knees. Oh, in. listen to the crowd pop. Oh, back and forth. Devastation. How many more of these can he take? I, I oh. really don't know. They're just walking him around hey, the, the ring. Look at the defense. Look at the defense. Walking him around the ring. Oh, pulls him into it, shoves that knee straight through the body. <laughs> Got that defense up. Kids at home right now, anyone New York to LA, if you're watching this, this is textbook domination. And Cena though he doesn't want to break that clinch because he knows the oh. he pulls those arms out and elbows go. Absolutely, I'm waiting for that elbow. He's got those hooks over the top to stop those elbows, but he knows the minute he pulls them away, and elbows are to come flying through. Oh, oh, can he mount some offense? He got caught. Big oh. boy knee. And another knee. That jab is just gross. Can't and get the, by it. Oh. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to move the head just a little bit, Teddy. <laughs> a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. He might need some more team kicks. He might need, you know what he might need to do like old WWE? He needs to tag out right now. Senanoi needs a tag team partner. He jumped in. Wow. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he going to say it was a little illegal? Is that what he's, he's complaining a little bit there? Yeah, yeah, get away with something. You got to right, try go. it. Here we go, 13 seconds, 12 seconds, 10 ain't seconds cheating, ain't trying, Teddy. The money round, again, pure wow. domination by Lord. Look at that, step to the side. The gas tank is zapped for Senanoi right now. Oi! Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Oh my God. I think Singh Payak took a look at the better shoot. He got a little upset. <laughs> you are right. Senanoi Everybody hey, across the board All here. All three stars. He's right. All three stars. Uh, for the fans at home listening, we get a better sheet. The, the top betters, the know-how guys are up top. And then stars under their names to see who all three are going for. The man, Senanoi, who is getting decimated. Look at that elbow on the inside. That's why Senanoi is getting rocked down low. Because the danger of those up top there. Now he's answering back. Look at how, look at the comparison to the knee from the red fighter and now the blue fighter the power the torque look at that and then look at that it's just it's a bit night and day coach Strout. it's a bit night and day just beating him up just beating him up I, I, like i said i love the way he's got those keeps those arms long traps his hands over the shoulders of his opponent frames himself up keeps those hips back and just drives those knees through and he keeps his opponent like i said it, it, Cena is afraid to pull one of those arms out because the minute he pulls one of those arms out, he's going to catch an elbow across the head. Oh, my God. He's got to do something this round. He's got to do something big. Oh. He's in a deep hole. He's got a lot to climb out of. I mean, he needs to just throw caution. I mean, he just needs something crazy. He's got he he to just... let it go. He's got to let it go. Yep, exactly. But also careful enough not to get just put to the mat. But he can't wait. He can't wait. He can't <laughs> Excuse wait. Me. He's got to just jump all over him. Money, money round. Co-main event. Senanoi in the red. Singh Payak dominating in the blue. Oi. Just shuts him off. Oi. Watch these knees. Oi. There it is now. Come on. Oh. Spins him around now. Got him in a bad situation. Goes into the mat. Senanoi stays up. That jab, though, is just so annoying to Senanoi. Watch this. To the body. To the body again with a kick from the other side. Way to stay up. The 39-year-old repping Kala Sid in the house. Man, you are not going to see him down on the better sheet again, are you? He is gaining the respect worldwide.
in from the betters in the house. Oh, nice. Oh. Look at that jab. Oh. Controls that lead arm, steps to the outside. Come on. Push them up against the rope. Good. Send Hanoi now. Trying to stay wow. away from the ropes. Dad missed. Good pierce knee. Slap knee to the outside. Is wow. It? God. See Look at that. Him down. Pulls him to the side. The now. Wow, Teddy. Yanks him down on his face. Uh-oh. Does the 39-year-old have the gas tank, though? At this moment of it, we're halfway through round four, and he looks tired. He can sit down the whole round five. He I think he'll still win. But he, he can't. Can go, he can go outside, take a, take a, get us up to eat, come Sus back. Aren't you susceptible to knockout so when you're that tired? Oh! Oh! Someone! Look at that step. Look at that. Oh. Pull back, make a miss, make a pay. This Dude, is great stuff. Someone call the police. This is borderline a misdemeanor. Wow. Oh, this is aggravated assault at this point right now. The hard and true grip from Sinanoi to be standing under the lights after the beating he took here in Lumpini, giving it all he's got. Warriors in the ring in this modern day Coliseum. Gladiators to Just so walks, to speak. Walks right oh, into that oh, oh. Watch it. Post. That hurt him. Step that hurt back. Him. That hurt him. He's tired. Yo, this is tired, but he's is putting on a clinic. Tired. Putting on a clinic. Ooh. Oh, back and forth, murderous. Oh, it's oh, this. love it. No, that's pretty. That step to the Matador side. and the bull. That is pretty. Controls him by the wrist. Oh. Steps right to the outside. Sinanoi, no quitting him. He refuses to give up. No towel being thrown in, and he jumps for the knee. Right hand over the top. Digging deep, giving it all he's got. Come on. Slap these crowds going bananas. Oh, 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 three seconds now. Goes for a cheeky trip. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 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 Would you give that round? No. Oh. To who? Okay. Sorry, so who, sorry, sorry. who are you trying to give it to over there? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> are you regifting something? <laughs> hey Teddy, look what I got you. You know what? You know what? Happy you know holidays. What? You know oh wait, Jason, Jason? ding dong. Hey, look, look hey, what Teddy gave hey, me. Hey, hey, wait, hey, I gave hey. that to Teddy. Jason, I, I apologize. This guy. I apologize. Take a look now at the action. Ooh. Right off. Yep. Good step, like you said. Just a nice matador. Look at this. Stays Using on his balance yep. and just tosses him to his head. Watch this. Just, oh. It's it's just so much power and torque. And look at him giving it all he's got. Just out. Oh! <laughs> just driving it home. I'm sorry. I'm right? Sorry. Just, There's nothing to say but just. He wow. keeps the distance and he just. Wow. That's the, those are the betters. Fans at home, if anyone's just joining us and just found out about Absolute Muay Thai or Muay Thai in general, these, that's the betting pit right there. They're making a lot of action right now going on. And some betters are actually, that's what he's looking at, is the betters pit because they will signal to the fighter, and they will give him a portion of their winnings if he takes them out when they tell him to take them out. And that's what I love. Look, we have the predictions. Yes, sir. A lot of times they're not right. This you is never know what's right. going to happen to me. You as, never know. As we said previous, the better said Senanoi is going to win. All three, our previous fight was split 1-2. All three, everyone's saying Senanoi is going to win the red corner, and it has just been disgusting, the punishment that he's taken. Here we go. Round five, fifth and final round of this exciting co-main event. Stay tuned. A power pack main event coming up next between Petmore Kart, T-Dek 99, and Talakek Payboy Pet. But for the here and now, fifth and final round. Singh Payak just needs the run away. Senanoi needs a knockout. Wow. Grabs it, pulls it up, gets him off balance, sweeps him on his butt. I mean, can someone throw in the towel, my man? I feel bad. Oi! Good fake on that deep kick. Good footwork from the 39-year-old and just punishes him now, catches it again. Look at that. Another sweep. I, I see how he grabs it, pulls it up, gets him off balance, hooks the foot, then nope. he dumps him. <clears throat> no quit, though, in the 28-year-old out of Serene. Senanoi, sit got ta on. Just a lot of heart. He's showing. Everyone here in the world that, yeah, he'll lose, but he will go out on his shield. Ooh, that's a little bit low there, buddy. Keep it up. Oh, God. 
good step to the side, the footwork. I don't think there really is such thing as a low blow here in Thailand. You, uh, you it's actually should, legal. Yeah. To, it is. Sorry. You should it be is defending legal. it. I spit <laughs> all over. Illegal. I spit all over Jason. I apologize. Wow, Teddy. I'm getting a little frothy here. Don't add more water. <laughs> I'm getting sprayed by the fighters and, and my partner over here tonight. You know it's a good night when Teddy's <laughs> drooling Sorry all over Sorry about that. You caught me off guard, dude. You can't be saying jokes. I'm taking steps. Here we go. Halfway through round five, one minute, 35 seconds left. It's just a lot of what we've been seeing. A little bit less than me. Yeah, yeah, please give him the touch of the gloves. Again, he's so frustrated. Look at his face. Look, yeah. at, look at Simonoy's face. It's anyone just so God, frustrated. that left just landed. Anyone new to Muay Thai, if the fighter gives his glove and the other fighter touches the bottom of the glove, they will back off and just let it ride. These fighters fight 300, 400 fights in their career. You know, you can't knock them, especially when they go to war in a premium event. So that's what the respect that Singh gave him. But look at Senanoi. He will not back down. He says, no, sir. I will not step back. If you're going to beat me, you beat me. Good body shot. And, and, and senanoi has been wrecking people. I mean, he's been just he walking been through people. Through he's, people. He's, yes, sir. He's a monster. To see him shut down like this, oh, this man. is impressive. impressive. Yes, sir. There it is. Take a step back. If, Come if, on, if man. If you're Come out on. there, there you, you just get into more time. Maybe you're doing it for a while. And, Looking, you're looking for a fight to watch to see how to stop an aggressive fighter. This is a great fight to watch. Sinanoi came out. He's a go forward kind of fighter. And Singh Payak shut him down. Please. Shut him down right from the beginning. Yes, he did. Not it was anymore. almost like two or three seconds into the, into the, into the and first the, round. The, he just shifted. He's like, I'm taking over. The swag he had, too. There was something he knew. He knew he had his number. I don't know what it is. He knew. Maybe stylistically, maybe something he saw. He knew if he could get into his head early yes, and frustrate something. him and just start breaking him down. Because he came in just with swag, just dripping. And, and, he, and he backed it up. And you I like know? how he's mixing up jab, sweeps the leg, jab, push yep, kick, yep. jab, ties him up, shoves but, those knees in. And the knees, I mean, in the first fight, we saw the devastation of the knees. And we saw devastation of the knees here. It's just the core strength of Senanoi. Wow. Now we're just going to wait for the official decision. Senanoi in the blue, Singh Payak in the, er, excuse me, Senanoi in the red, Singh Payak in the blue. It's a featherweight affair. And, of course, there you have it, Singh Payak SS fighter, Muay Thai Jim, the 39-year-old at Akala Sin, improves the 51 wins overall. But let's be honest, could very well be 251 wins overall by the way he looked. A clinic. Strict put on. When I was doing some, some scouting on him, I was, there was fights of him like four or five years ago. I was yeah. like, is this the same guy? Could this possibly be the same guy that's fighting tonight? Sure enough. Sure enough it was. Could have took some time off as well. You never know. My Lord. I mean, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, great job. Great performance. And you know what I love too? Is sitting behind us are two couples, and they are brand new to this. They're here just for Thailand, what a great for the night. beauty of Thailand. And they said, you know what? We'll check out Lumpini. They are enthralled right behind us right now. They are loving it, and I am too. All right, we're going to take you quickly to a video of Muay Thai equipment and gear just to give you a little bit of more information and background on Muay Thai. Check it out. So here's a great example of really the basic things that are needed for a Muay Thai fight. You've got your shorts, gloves, steel cuff, tape and gauze for your hand wraps and a mouthpiece. And then some of the garnishments. You've got your preciat, which is an armband. That armband can be made from a number of different things. Maybe scraps of material from your mother's dress, hair from maybe your wife. And so the idea would be when the fight would get hard, you would be able to look down and it would drive you. In the back would be the moncon. Traditionally there, that would be made out of a parchment. And the monks would write blessings on that and then roll that parchment up and make it into the headband that you wear. The big deal about the stadiums is the stadium belt. Here in Thailand, fighting at one of the major stadiums and being that stadium's champion is really the big deal. That's like being the Super Bowl champion. And here we are, the moment we've been waiting for. Is there any way that this main event can top the beauty that we've Look had Look at already? those records. <laughs> yeah, I like to see. And those probably aren't even 
you know. Pat Moore caught 70 wins, 15 losses, and five draws. 27 years of age, five foot five and 136 pounds. His opponent, Playboy Pet, but for today it's Talak Nick. 145 and five, just 24 years of age, five foot seven, 136 pounds. Let's take a look. The official weights, though, 133 each. So it is officially at light weight. And we will call it a lightweight affair, but each one of them coming in low. Now, anyone at back, anyone at home, anyone listening, wondering why they fight all the time? Their weight is always roughly around where it has to be. They really don't care. If one fighter came in a little bit heavier, just a pound or two, they're good. They're going to come in a pound or two later on. When you fight this much, that's why. Yeah. There he is. Seven goes up, goes down. These, these, I mean, these guys are pros. He is a monster, though. Now, I love Playboy Pat, that dude right there. Do you think he changed his name because maybe his girlfriend or his wife heard, heard that? Maybe they call him Playboy. And she was like, nah, She's nah, like, nah. What is this, what nah, is this nah, Playboy nah. Pat? Yeah, exactly. And he was like, no, no, I don't even know who that guy is. I only talked to him a couple <laughs> times. And she was like, you know what, next time, Tala, you're going in with your real name. He's like, okay, honey. I know my wife wouldn't be happy about that. Shout out to Natsuna, by the way. Love you, babe. Here we go. I knew he would. I knew. I should have said it. I knew it. That pet Moa caught was going to stay in the ring. Take his time. I, I knew he would, of course. Take a look but now. I don't, I don't think he's going to ruffle the feathers of his opponent, Talek Keck, tonight. Did you say feathers as he was doing the bird move on purpose? See, that's why you get the big bucks, my man. Here we go. Toe to toe. Let's take a look now. Is it two inches? Yeah. Maybe three. Tough with the toe with the hair. Much longer, but I'm Pet Mark is just a he's a monster in the ring. What a beast! But I like to see he the is, way I, I, he comes go on. Ahead. He's got a good, strong yep. defense, good tight guard, good boxing. But man, he can put you on the ground at any yeah. time. So tricky with the sweeps. And Playboy Pet is so slick too. It's, I want to see. It's like he's almost got four here. hands, Teddy. <laughs> like his is foot it? just grip you, yeah, dump you on the ground, dump you on the, dump you on the mat. But but Playboy Pet is so elusive. He's good at dictating yeah. the pace. He's good at controlling the fight. He's good at being real long and picking you apart from the outside. He also got very good sweeps. This is going to yes, be a battle of the sweeps. Oh, it's going to be such a good main event, man. I've been waiting for Lumpini to really, really blow the roof off of it. And this is it. Like we said, great fights all the time. But I wanted one that was really memorable. Really, And this is the card. Absolute Muay Thai 52. Tell your friends. There he is, Playboy Pat. T-99 just puts out monsters. Here so we many quality fighters. Go main event, Absolute Muay Thai 52 live from the Mecca of Muay Thai Lumpini Stadium. Pat Mora caught in the red, 27-year-old out of Pratum Tani. Talak Gek, 24 out of Krabi in the blue. But you know we call him Playboy Pat here at Absolute Muay Thai. Also, all handsome team, both these guys are on my all handsome list as well. Not afraid to take in a man's body here. An absolute Muay Thai. Nice check there from Pet. Actually, we'll call him Talat. Talat, Pet in the red, Talat in the blue. Keep it that way. Both these fighters are coming off of a loss. KO loss, though, for Pet Morikov. Doesn't always mean a lot. KO win. Also, his last two fights for uh, Talat. Taking a look at Carlos. Carlos coming out with a uh, nice ice bag on his leg. Carlos. And he's definitely uh, looking good. Coming out here actually to watch the fights as well. You know, such a good, so good. And, and what a what a good uh, student of the game too. He could go home. He could hit out. Uh, he could hit it downtown Bangkok. He doesn't. He sits here with his trainers and watches. Gotta love it. <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. Back to the fight. So much on the line here at the lightweight division. Just so so much going on in this first <laughs> round. I mean, there really is so many little things. God, that are what happening. a check from Tala. And I they get, to call they get so close to each other. They get right in there and just fight the game of inches. Hey. Ah, I tried to sweep the sweep master. I wonder if it'd be dope if we could put Carlos on the mic. We could give him an interview in between the rounds. We'll see that later on. Hey. Good check. Man, they are really testing each other, aren't they? Nice fake to the right, and then a beautiful pierced knee. Oh, careful dropping that hand. Wow, he's breaking that defense, isn't he? Pet Mall call. 
He's still going to that side, still throwing that left. Excuse me, southpaw in the red. How much balance he has. He's hopping on one leg. Pet Morakot is so skillful. Goes up top, gets caught. Look at a nice left kick. Gets caught, stays controlled. Puts all the weight yeah. out of it, brings the leg forward, yanks it down, right back in his stance. Not just an athletic move, an intelligent athletic move as well. Oh. Yeah, Shuts him down with a push yes, kick. 15 seconds left now in this very intricate chess match that we are seeing between two Muay Thai giants. Oh, good punch to the body. Man. What a very, very intricate round one. Let's see what happens in round two. And if you guys like what you're seeing, follow us on all social media platforms. Absolute Muay Thai. We're talking Twitter. <laughs> Stop. We're talking Twitter. You can't do that to me. Twitter, Facebook, uh, uh, <laughs> YouTube, whatever else. I think you covered him, Teddy. I'm sorry. And I'm Teddy Mulvey on uh, Instagram. It's my main jam. And Coach Strout as well. Oh, man. Having a great time inside here in Lumpini Stadium. Nice. Got a whole camp walking in right now. We have a whole Muay Thai camp walking in. Love that. Love the team, too. All in the same shirts. You know, you're not just in the gym. They come here. <laughs> they come here to study, to learn. Always watching. Always getting better. You gotta love it. They've got foreign fighters, Thai fighters, female fighters, grizzled veterans. I mean, just the at we talk about it. I'm sorry for the fans if you don't want to hear it, but the atmosphere here, what happens outside the ring is so important to what happens inside the ring. You need to come here and experience this live. But for the here and now, round two of our main event, don't forget absolute Muay Thai, 52. That left kick is so strong. Look at that. Look at that heavy left kick he's throwing. Ooh. Such balance. Big kick to the top. Able, to walk, able to walk backwards, pick off the kick, and he threw across from an orthodox stance to keep his opponent off. Nice one, two off the ropes as well there. Doubles up. Man, he is breaking that. He throws it, and he comes right back to the stance. That's how you know he's done this for a long time. Yeah. He's a quality, quality opponent. I love that push kick. Second Fighter. time. Everything. <laughs> I love when you get lost. It. I love lost. it when you get lost. I know the fans appreciate it as well when you get lost. No hate online. Oh, oh man, I'm getting excited. I'm getting real excited. Is that drooling again? Yeah, I'm sorry. I've been spitting on you all day. I apologize for that. Wait. Man, see that? See, they're seeing everything, and then they're adjusting. You know. Talat, Talat will see something, he'll, he'll move his hips, and then boom, Pet just adjusts and then back and forth. It's just such a chess match here. This one is for the kids to study. People on the way up, study this one here. If you think, oh, nothing's going on, well, a lot is going on. Minute 39 left in round two. Man, he's beating that arm up, man. I know it's being checked, but he's got to be worried. He's got, he's got in Raja, we saw a broken arm like that. Same, southpaw fighter to, a, to an orthodox. He kind of uh, rocks back before he throws the kick or the punch, Pet Mor Morikot. Oh, you see he that? He rocks, he rocks, he rocks, and he kind of sits down in that rear leg, loads it just a little bit, and then he fires it off. You think Talak can beat yeah, that? Watch it, watch it, rock, rock, rock. And he kind of sits ah. down and sinks on it just a little bit. He's got to throw that push kick. Good job. Keep him that bad. Gets the rhythm, gets the rhythm. And he kind of sinks down Ooh. and shoots that kick. Buckle that wow. knee. Wow, man, that's that shit on me. Bone to me. That's right. Ooh. Nothing Good like, laugh. Nothing, nothing like that sound, and it echoes in these stadiums. The bone just smashes into that thigh. <laughs> Oh, he went for a pierce knee. Elbow over the top. And a retaliation elbow, big left. And then throws the kick behind it. Oh, man. 30 seconds left in round two. 
It's almost like they built these stadiums so that they echo every single yeah. crack. The acoustic. Kick. They, yeah. they never have concerts here, but they should. Wow. That's the second time he's buckled that, that uh, left it, it, leg. It's kind of a weird block. He's going yeah. for the inside leg, and he's blocking it with his rear leg. Oh, and he sees that it's hurt. Yeah, he's kicking right through that shin, too. Uh. And he gets a lot of force on that. He, he, he rocks back, and everything expl explodes off that rear leg. Wow. Yeah, he's a little oh stiff. That, that front leg's yeah. a little stiff, yeah, isn't it? Hurts. He's going to get that rub down. We're going to take you to a video now on scoring. We will be right back with the money round. Things get pretty crazy in a fight. And the judges are, are looking for a number of different things. There's punches that happen. You get straight punches, your uppercuts, your hooks. If you get in real close, they're going to elbow over the top. From there, guys are throwing body kicks. Once things start to develop, then you're gonna see the fighters get into a clinch, and they're gonna be right there throwing knees, and that's scoring big to the body. At the end of the day, the judges wanna see impact. They wanna see that the strikes that were landed had an effect. If a fighter's getting hit and he can just stay in there and keep going and keep going forward and stay strong, then the judges aren't gonna see those strikes landing as scoring a lot. But as soon as he's moving forward and he gets hit with something and you see him fade back a little bit, even for a split second, that's when the judges are gonna recognize that and they're gonna score that pretty heavily. Money round coming at you here. Call it the money round for a reason. Pace will pick up. And in my opinion, I think round three and four is more higher than round one and two. To tell you the truth, I think they hold more weight here in the land of smiles. I think Pet Morakot's kind of pulling away in this fight, though. I think he is as well. Just Pet causing Morikot. a lot more damage. Better's favorite as well on my betting sheet. All three betters, plus the stadium, does say he is the leader. But let's see, though. Palak, Playboy Pet as we know him, is a monster as well. Oh, he is moving forward. He's trying he? to move forward to oh, come yes to that clinch. He is. Oh, big pierce knee. Now he's wrapped up. This is a very intricate part here. Yeah, he's got to watch out on the inside. He broke it. His pet's so slick at dumping you. Yes. He kind of marches those feet around and then just grabs your foot. Whoop. Waits for that knee as nice well. Nice timing Whoa. of the hook. There's that tight guard I was talking about. Hands high, kind of makes that shell. And then that right hook just comes out of nowhere. Shopped him around the oh, back of the leg. Good Pierce on the way in. Pat, you're, you're right. Pat is inching away. He's slipping away right now. And Talaket has got to get it together a little bit. I think he's in his own head. Big left, big right. Oh, and that rocked him. Nice combination. He, and he took his time when he threw it. Hit him with the yeah. cross. Looked at him. Took his time. And then he brought that hook around. It rocked my man, Playboy. Going. But a nice right now. From time and a solid you knee know, as pet, well. I mean, pet, pet's like a cat. Throw him in the air, he's always landing on his feet. Not that really I throw is. cats in the air. I'm just... See it on YouTube? Oh, slip down. You watch cats falling on YouTube? No, I don't. I just, I don't, I don't know where I, I got you lost. You watch it, dude. All right, here we go. Nice one, two goes to the body of the taller fighter. Good kick to the body. Flying oh, knee. he almost caught that Boy. one in the head. He went to kind of scoop it, and that kick almost came up. He tried to end his career, but missed. Got wrapped up. Back center stage. Pet, a minute 13 in the money round. Pet's just so sturdy. Just got that, that strong build. Oh, big knee. Good midsection, good strong core, good strong base. Great That's why everything's coming out. It's got force on it. Great defense there by Talak. Look at that. Oh, big, big hook. to the body, though. Nice timing by Ooh, Playboy Pet. Pet. Okay. AKA. Oh, the third time. That's Hello, Gek. It's really disgusting the way that he plants that left knee and it gets kicked right out. He's got to watch Oi. out there. Left hand lands. Right to the body. Pet, Pet Morikot's hands are drifting a little bit low for me. Oh, oh he, stuck that one in again yeah. right under the elbow. Left that open. Big flying knee. You know Playboy Pet loves bouncing his opponents off the rope. Man, he sounded like he was banging the drum in a parade. Nice one. Nice one. Watch him oh, sneak it up under there again. He, he sees he's got Pets keeping that elbow out a little too far from his body. And, he's, and, and, and Playboy Pets bringing that kick right up underneath. Oh, Hit good the knee. same spot he kicked. Yep. Good spin around, though, by Pet Markov. Tries for a speed kick, and it hits the body. 
Big left by Penn. Oh, that's a heavy Answered kick. Answered by Talak. Gets so much torque on it. Toe to toe. A Bangkok brawl at the wow. end of the money round. Yes. Great action. Kicks and knees and punches. He got it all, Teddy. Now, now, play, <laughs> Playboy Pet came alive at the end there. He did come alive yeah, at the he, end. Yeah, he definitely woke up. He definitely Pet. found his range. He found his rhythm. He finally got going. Yep. He's, like, he's like trying to start the car in a Wisconsin winter. You know, it takes a couple cranks. You got to warm it up. And now that he's warm, that thing will run forever. Good hit to the body there, retaliation. God, that left right down the pipe. He was a little bit off center there. Wasn't really... As, as much power as you want to be, he landed. Oh, there was that kick, almost snuck it upstairs. Dude, if he and hit him in the throat with that, that's with a lot. Did you, see, has a, did you see the way his hands were positioned? Like, you scoop it underneath, that would have been right to the neck. If he got that knee to the neck, a la Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Macho Man off the top it rope, been like a, a with lariat. the bell, a lariat. with the bell. We used to play this video Woo. game, me and my sister, it was yeah. a wrestling video game. And okay. it, for some reason, there was like a, a defect, where it was a, okay. a special move with a lariat, where you kind of clotheslined them. Yeah. And you could do that. Non stop. You just bounce them off the ropes and Larry it back and forth. And you get caught in it. You get so. Would you stop doing oh, this? So it's like, would yeah. you just stop Larry at me? You just do something different. You just. It's like you could drop the controller and it's open. And, and that's what he almost, almost got done to him right there. He almost oh got the Larry. He almost got it across the throat. Money, money round. And it would have been over. Just like for me. Oh, exactly. Just when my sister got me in that, it's right. over. I literally cried when we get a dragon scene. I got hit with that bell on the neck. I thought he was dying. All right. I mean, when you're six, you think it's real. Here we go. It's not. Money, money round. Pet, it, it's, it's, some people say it's fake. I don't know. I don't know about that. Pet Morcourt was inching away at the end of round two for sure, in the beginning of round three. Talakit pour, pours it on at the end of round three. And he's ready to get right Let's, back in the yep. him. Just marches right in the front door, Here. ties him up, Here we shoves go. those knees into his body. I love that double. double. I love doubling, doubling up on, on that. Doubling up on that kick. Come on now. He's gotta watch out. That I don't wait, I don't like the way his left hand drifts down a little low. Every time, every time Tyler kick gets close to him, he drops it down a little bit too low for me. No! Oh! He got the toes around the guard, and that awkward left punch that he throws when his body is square is is weird for me. Every ball pushes him against the ropes. Tyler caught it. Scramble. Good defense there by Pat. That's good defense there on that left leg. Got that jujitsu hook in. Wow. There's those sweeps. <sighs> Tala is just relentless. Oh, crowd popping now. Glove across the face, hopping oh. over the guard. Oh, a little bit of a tap, mean. tap, tap. Getting that rhythm yep. going. Oh, oh he almost got dumped. That's that the referee sweep. saved him. That's that sweep you talking You got to watch out when you start hopping around. Yep. You bring your feet off the ground for a split second. Oh, good. Someone's laps. got a good sweep. They'll take it down. Tala eating shots on the way inside. Let's see though. Can those pay dividends if he Oh that's oh, a strong lock. Oh! Bends him back they over. They just keep two. battling oh. the position inside the clinch. Back and forth. Oh again, Tala! Going to work! And the ref is letting him play! Yes! Look at him! Finally! Bales Petmore caught out of it. You gotta love it, man. The ref, the way the ref plays in this fight. Oh, love that left kick. Kick for oh. kick. I like that now, right on the outside. Right to the body, answers to the body. I like what they do to a Teddy, when they grab that kick, they take that split second to kind of pull you off balance and then fire their kick back. They yank you back and then they bring that kick right up over the top. He's gotta watch it, that hand's a little low. God, oh man, it, that paid dividends because he has really been destroying that lead leg with that sweep. And when all Talat's weights on it, it really just buckles his knee there. That time he got the sweep. Those knees to the back, those don't feel nice, do they? They don't feel they nice. They cannot feel nice. you feel feeling those tomorrow. Oi, ran for the sweep, couldn't get it. Oh. God, nice, nice, Pierce knee. Tries to get him on the inside, can't do it. Slap knee to the outside, Pet with some defense. 40 seconds left in the money, money round. This is our main event. Just marching in, just marching in. He doesn't get Pet. A second to Wow, breathe. that knee just barely missed him. Just this thing missed. is coming out like a missile. Just missed. Look at that. Grueling. They are jockeying for position now. 20 seconds here. I'd like, I'd like to see Talek kick bring that right kick up over the top. Yeah, get a little higher just, with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, kind of fake like you're going low, drop your body weight, and then bring that kick right up over the top. Look at the athleticism. This deep into this main event by Pet Moncourt to stay on his feet. 
sweet score. So high in the eyes of the judges here in Thailand. Up and over, a little bit higher. Ah, good team kick at the end. push kick right at the end to seal that round. Uh, wow. That is, that, this is a great fight, Teddy. Couldn't great ask card. for a better main event. Great card, absolute Muay Thai 52, man. I told you in the beginning, man, it was one for the ages. We knew it. Non-stop action since the first fight tonight. I mean, what a great night of fights. Let's take a look at the replay here from that round. Can't wait. Going to work. Look is this it. when the ref just lets him go to work? Locked underneath and the arms. Hold Good position, up, right? Yeah. Make, oh, God. Oh, just, just yeah. stop that knee just shy. Look at that. Grabs it, pulls it back just a little bit off balance. Look at that. Pulls him down as well. He's got to carry his So many little throws. things. Yeah. Grabs him in the clinch, yanks the weight down, and then when it doesn't work, he brings his body up high and drives that shin across his body. So you got to carry all of his weight, and then he gives that little bit of a pump so he can drive his, his offense and that knee right up the middle. Just looking at the corners now. Playboy Pet looks real calm and collective. Yeah, both corners are very calm. Doesn't That's look what happens when you got this many fights and this amount of experience. I mean, Playboy Pet, 100 wins. Out of 150 fights. He has so fights. many fights, he changed his name. Yeah, he'll change He's it like, again. He's like, I'm done. 70, I gotta get another name. I've used this one up. 70, 15, and 5 for Pet Morikawa. 145 and 5 for Talat. Fifth and final yeah. round of this main event. Fifth and final round of this card. Thank you for joining us worldwide. If you liked what you see, subscribe, download, tell your friends. Muay Thai action. I mean, it is the greatest stand-up in the history of humankind on display. They're either calling for the elbow in the red corner or they're telling them to watch out for the elbow. I think watch out. Yeah. Because I think right now with the hands down low and how dangerous uh, Talat can be right now, I think it's watch out. There it is. Look at that. You said it in the opening monologue that we had that the sweeps were coming. And that right there is his fourth sweep of this fight. And they score so high, Coach Trout. Oh, Jesus. Really trying to take him out now. A little bit of a shower there. Thank you, Teddy. Drying me off here in the corner. <laughs> Good to the body. Talat now. Really? Oh, there, yep, there it was. There's the elbow they were calling That's for. It. you got to watch out for that. He's going to try to end this fight. He's going to try to get it. It's the only way he can win this fight. He's got to get him out of there. And an elbow can do it. It's too far down to the scorecards. Pet more caught on the back foot, playing full prevent defense. There he oh, goes he again. Elbow. Oy. Pet Morikot's got to just survive. I mean, one Two second. more minutes. Oh, my God. Pulls him back, throws the kick. Can't get stuck there against the ropes. He's got to get out of there. He's got to get out of there. He's got to watch out when he walks. Oh, my God, that elbow may have landed. They There's another right, one right in the right, chin. Right in front of us. We cannot tell. Oh, my God. Is Pet Morikot in trouble? Knees for knee now. Oh, oh it's a war. throws the kick. This fight is far from over. Look at all he's walking him down. Hands did, down, attitude, he's walking right in there. Did you expect anything less from these two gladiators? Tongue hanging out, look at that look on his face. He has a minute 27 right now. Oh! oh, 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 oh. He got caught with a knee to the grill. Back, back foot, as he should be. Kicked to the arms again. Nice Big right left. hand. That left landed for Pat. Trying to chop his head off with that. Keep it up, kid. Come on, come on. Oh, nice. heavy. Do you hear the sound yeah. of that thing? Is it enough? One minute left in this main event. Pet is dancing to lot, trying to put him away. He doesn't want to touch gloves. Nah, he doesn't want this to be over. No, no, no. He's still trying. He actually wanted to, he actually felt embarrassed when he threw that glove out. He knew it would be an answer. Nice kick to the body. Might be Nope, nope, look at that. No, I am not on. touching the gloves. Give it one more try. Nice right nice down right the pipe. Got, don't combos, though. Here we go. Get, get, get your composure. Five seconds and then unleash. Let's throw the head kick. Come on. Good team. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, there it is. Head kick. He blocked it, though. Got to set it up a little bit better than that. Oh, going for it again. My God. 18 seconds left. I'm telling you, anything can happen. Don't count him out. Stepped in for that elbow. Stepped in for that elbow, didn't he? <laughs> now he knows. Now it's over. I mean, st great fight, though. Still, the winner of this fight is the fans of Absolute Muay Thai. Clearly. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's giving them respect. He's giving them respect. What a main event. Absolute Muay Thai 52 has come 
to a close. We need the official judge's decision right now. You know, speaking of the Could fifth round, I was, I was watching a fight the other night. Could they shock us? And, get... and the guy, no, it, was, yeah. it, was a, it was a Thailand champion, won okay. the fight. Uh. Fifth round, the guy cut up the elbow. He felt so bad. Caught him with an elbow. Yeah, he just caught him. Yep, there's the winner. And there you have it. Pet Mora caught repping the fame. T that 9-9 Jim, the 27-year-old at a Proctumtani, improves to 71 wins overall. And an incredible main event win here at Lumpini Stadium on Absolute Muay Thai 52. And is rocketing up the lightweight division. My God, what a card. Real quick, let's go back to the Spaniard, Carlos. Vicious, vicious knees for the TKO. Then a dominating performance from Senpayak, who was down knee on the war. card. What a knee. Down what a, on the card. That was an amazing fight. Comes back, and then, of course, the main event, Pet Morikot takes it over our man, Playboy Pet. Talak Kek could not get it done, but what a war. Thanks for joining us worldwide for Lupini Stadium. For Absolute Muay Thai, that's Coach Strout. I'm Teddy Mulvey. We're out.